It's time to review one of the most popular Nixie kits around. Um, this is the Spectrum from PV Electronics. Uh, and it's one of the standards of the Nixie kit builder since, uh, well, forever, basically. It supports large tubes. And in this uh, review, we're going to be building it with IN18s. So these are kind of the largest easily available tubes that you can get. This one you can see here, it's from 1990 09. Um, and yeah, you should expect to pay for about $50 a tube for them, so $300 for a set, maybe a bit less if you get lucky. Um, and the kit itself is about another hundred and something, so you're looking at a $450 clock uh, before you have a case. So, um, I paid uh, £85 or £89 for this, um, and uh, I... Let's have a look what we get in the kit. So, it seems to be everything in the box. So we have a bag of components. So this is uh, Spectrum 18, 10, 40, R568, and serial number 1,221. Then fragile handle with care. Let's have a look what's in there then. I think this will be the covers for the neons, which are kind of little glass test tubes, which go over the top. Quite a nice touch, um, and <laughs> very well packed. I'm not sure I'll be able to get into this. You can see I'm struggling a bit with it. Maybe it would help if I actually got a sharp knife. I use a blunt knife to stop me cutting myself, but it gets frustrating sometimes <laughs> when it, instead of not cutting myself, it doesn't cut anything else either. So, oh dear, here's another one. Let's see if we can get into this. Yeah, this is really well packed. This is taking a bit longer than I was imagining. Holy moly. I'll probably break whatever's in here before I can get it out anyway, so... Yes, there we go. One, two. So, that was a hard, uh, a hard struggle. And this must be the PCB in here. Okay, okay, try not to be too cavalier with the knife, um, so I don't destroy the board. But on the other hand, also trying to get the board out in more or less today. Okay, more bits in here. Okay, there's the PCB, there's some shrink wrap. There's an HV module, there's some spacers and standoffs, and there are the tube holders. Okay, so that's what you get. The PCB, the PCB looks very nice, in fact. Gold plated, matte black. Very neat and tidy. Okay, you can see here the component markings to say which side things go on. And note some bits are mounted on the bottom. So the barrel jack is on the bottom, the HV module is on the bottom, and I actually made this mistake before. The resistor networks, the single inline packages, go on the bottom and not the top. So, the HV module is quite interesting. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's in there. So, a 
big inductor on there. A Max 1771 and a, uh, a MOSFET package. So a little tiny MOSFET package. A diodes. Oops, nothing on the back. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. And just a set of header pins in there as well. So let's get those out. Everything's falling off the desk here. Oh my word, come on, out you come. Ah, oh, finally. All right, that's, uh, that looks very nice. I'm not gonna fiddle about too much with this. You can see there's the Supertex, now the microchip um, sockets in there. For, there we are, just in there you can maybe see the two uh, microchip uh, HV drivers. There's a pick in there. And good, all ready to go.